And this is what I love about your story and about similar stories of people getting discovered on YouTube because I just love this current time we're living in when anyone that has something to say, they have a talent that they just want to share, they are able to create a YouTube channel, put out videos, and they just never know who's watching. And most of the time, someone unexpected ends up watching and they get discovered, right? There's so many people that have no connections to the industry that because of a YouTube video, because they start a YouTube channel, they were able to get in front of a decision maker or get discovered and completely change their lives. So I want to ask you, The Dance Show, that sounds like a fantastic opportunity. So tell me the story. How did you get discovered for that? Was it like a producer? Was it Garen Johar himself who happened to see one of your videos and go, I need to get these twins on my show? What's the story? <laughs> no, so actually what happened was um, that video went viral and then we got like, yeah, like um, somebody got in touch with us via email from uh, the production company. And um, they were like, hey, like, we really want you guys to be on Jalak Diklaja, like season nine. And we just were like, oh, wow, that's a big show. Um, okay, like, we've never done anything like this before. Like, we're not even like prepared mentally. <laughs> <laughs> so like, um, they tell us that they want us to compete like- um, In two weeks. In two weeks. No, no, sorry. They have to like fly to India in like two weeks. Yeah, we'll fly to India in two weeks. So it was all very like rushed. And we were like, okay, well, um, we're gonna roll with it because this is really cool. <laughs> And um, yeah, I it was by lot. far the coolest experience. That uh, video, and it wasn't even like mega viral. It was like a couple million hits, but it's not like, you know, like 40 million or something. But like, we literally got on some TV shows radars. Like we got on Ellen's radar. Someone from her team contacted us saying like, oh, this video is on our radar. We're just like, oh, really? How cool? Yeah, it was, no, it was just very random, like the entire thing. And the experience of being on Jellic was really cool because we'd never been in front of cameras before like this was our first time doing all of it like the clips of cameras like the trailers like the um seeing other huge so like we were the underdogs like i'm pretty sure every single star on that show was bigger than us so it was just really cool being able to see how everything worked and the entire process it was our first glimpse into that industry into like, um what is it entertainment TV shows yeah, yeah. So tell me about actually going to India. Were you two ladies going to India regularly or was this like maybe a first visit in a very long time? We definitely we grew up going to India. <laughs> yeah, we grew up going to India, but that was our first time staying in India for that long of a period of time. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a culture shock because um, we just were not used to it. Like we're used to like Googling things, honestly, and like going to get groceries. And like for that period of time, like we, had, we hadn't been to India. So, so, I mean, it was great because we had like relatives that helped us since we still have relatives in India but yeah it was definitely like a like a thing being in India for three months versus like we're only there for like a month at a time or like maybe like two weeks or three weeks at a time like before so yeah I think it was just a very different experience <laughs> I have a lot of respect for American Indian kids honestly who go to India and try to make it in Bollywood because it is rough it is rough I will say that much why was it rough? I, I would say like just the whole lifestyle, like getting used to like that much poverty on the streets and like just not everything, like there's no Walmart in India. Like there's, you know, okay, so first of all, things are very different just like in the landscape of India, like politics, red tape wise, like things as simple as like opening up a bank account, like me and Poonam weren't really sure how to go about it, you know, like stuff like that. Like, so it's like a little complicated that way. You just have to know people. And then also, um, yeah. just, just being a girl in India, like sometimes you have to be a lot more careful. Yeah, we felt for the, like for like a while that we're just like, we can't be as free here as we are in the like, USA. You can't just like wear whatever you want and just like go on the street, you know what I'm saying? You have to be like, like more mindful of like where you are and what you're doing. But also the other thing that was really different for us was like there were some politics on the show that we were unaware of um, before. I think Jalak is like, is like a really big show. And there were definitely like, you know, like certain things about it that we were like, oh, interesting. This is how the entertainment industry works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you gotta dish it out. So what do you mean by politics? So I know like in every single dance show and every single reality show, like there's like a certain script of what is going to happen. And um, like, I feel like that's a standard thing for every reality show that happens. Like where so it, they, it's, it's they like, script, like kind of like week to week, like what is going to happen. Yeah, it's like reality, but it's also like kind of scripted. Like it's like everybody kind of plays the part. Okay, so maybe clarify something for me. So I was under the impression that the people's vote 
determines who stays every week and who goes. And so if you're saying it's scripted, it kind of sounds like regardless of how many people are voting, that the outcome is going to be the same no matter what. Yeah, but people vote. But again, like the the main jurisdiction is the tv producer like whoever the producers are right obviously so, like yeah like we never really confirmed it or anything but we have a feeling that it's like basically based on like a uh, like what the producers think will generate ratings i mean i think the the audience score is considered but i don't think that's the whole story Okay, that sucks. But on one hand, I'm not too surprised because at the end of the day, reality shows are about entertainment, right? So although that sucks for you two that it was already kind of determined whether or not you're going to win or not, uh, what a great opportunity, right? Just to be on the show and to be exposed to so many people in India and actually around the world because that show is broadcast everywhere. Yeah, and I totally understand too. Like it's like a business at the end of the day. Like they want to make money, and so they have to keep the stars that make them generate the most audience, you know, attraction for them. So overall, though, even though all of that stuff was a thing, I think that it was just like such a cool experience because um, we just got to be in the midst of so many like amazing like artists and people, and it was just like such a like a vibe. Like you know, like how you go somewhere and like you just like are inspired by what you're seeing, like your surroundings. That's how it was. It was just very inspiring. So apart from being on the show and being exposed to the public, what's also really great about being part of that show is you're making those connections with celebrities, right? There's tons of celebrities on the show, obviously the judges, um, people that are working backstage, and obviously Bombay is full of celebrities. So was there anyone in particular that you connected with that either you became close with or maybe somebody that offered you two advice on how to make it? Yeah, I mean, um, Karan Johar told us to stay awesome. So um, Karan Johar, like he, I remember we were on stage one time and uh, we just ran into him. He's just like, stay awesome, you guys. And we're like, we will. Thank you. <laughs> no, um, we've actually, so Jacqueline, um, she's super, super sweet and, and super nice. Um, and she, we basically met her like a couple times after that. She came to LA once and like we did like a little dance video and we kept in touch with her. Um, and then we um, honestly like, we kept in touch with Nora too, and we met her with her after the show and stuff. And um, Nora, Nora's story really inspires me because um, when she got on the show, like she hadn't popped off the way she has now. And I feel like her hustle just inspires me so much because the where she was on that show and which, where she's gotten now, like it's all the product of like hustle. You know, oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Um, so Salman so Yusuf Khan, uh, he's a huge dancer, huge choreographer. He's amazing. He is actually, I think, the one that that told um, the Jalak producers about me and Puna because, oh, really? yeah, because remember we had, um, so we had, he had judged a competition that we were in in 2014, oh. and he remembered us from there. I think they probably asked him like, oh, like, do you know anybody that could possibly be on the show? And then our video went viral, and then maybe he thought of us. And that's what I was saying. What a great opportunity because that show, regardless if you win or not, gives you that platform to be introduced to so many new fans and to just open so many doors, right? All it takes is like, like I was mentioning before, for you to be in front of people, for them to see your talent and then for them to go, hey, I want to work with that person or hey, I think I have a project that these ladies would be perfect for. So what other opportunities came about from being on the show, right? Like, was there some other things that happened while you're in India that was a result of you participating on the show? 